she's already going, I think I might work, right? I might need to work. And in about 30 seconds, I'm gonna have Karen knock on that door. His job is to, he may go and investigate the sound, that's fine, he wants to know where it's at. He's gonna come and make physical contact with me by putting two paws on me, and then he's going to take me to the sound. In this case, the door, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and let him off leash, and Karen, you can start knocking in about 30 seconds. So. Good job. So we, when we think of guide dogs, we think of dogs, good man, yes it squeaks, is that yours? So we think of um, dogs that are calm and low energy. We want the exact opposite for hearing dogs. We want dogs that are high energy because if you think about it, if my alarm clock or someone knocks on my door goes off at 2 a.m., I need this dog to get up and move, right, and work the sound. My dogs at home would say, hey human, go answer the door, right? <laughs> They're not gonna move. This dog will move for me, okay? Good boy, good boy, okay. Good boy, right here, good. So you can see he's a little bit bouncy, and he's not, um, he's not placement ready. If I was going to place him, he would not be ready at this point. He's definitely still in training. Okay, the sound is going off, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him loose and let him go figure out where that sound is at. Might wanna put it down lower so he can figure it out. Good boy, good. Here we go. Okay, he's taking a shortcut. <laughs> Where's that sound? Where's that sound? Yes, good man. Yay! Good job. And then we make the sound stop. Good job, buddy.